Now, welcome back. If you just did join us, this is Nasidi Ubunge. Good morning, Nigeria Show. And you don't miss plenty. Yes, you don't miss at 7 to 9 every Monday to Friday. We did the last segment of our show this morning. A very important matter now we won't talk because we see the month of January, where we say they carry 45 days a month. But if I say is a rush, uh, so if I say 2021, uh, it'll be like a regular year. Uh, upon that matter, every January, everybody likes to they sit down, they set their goals for themselves, achievements. What they won't do for 2021. I just say, even with the COVID, when they last year, get people when we say they achieve plenty, they get people when we say their own achievement, we say, are they alive? Are they breathe? Uh, other people's achievement will just they tension you anyhow. They make you they question whether your own village will get power past your church uh, or whether maybe then just cost you from when you did small. And uh, we get person when they say studio here with us here, they won't show us how to run your race without to put yourself under any kind of pressure or any kind of tension. Now, her name, now Mary or Bakore. Hello, Mary. Good morning. Good morning to have you. I'm good to have you on our show Thank this you. particular um, morning. Everybody, they run their race as we do TikTok. Um, but we not say anybody when they run on your own. Either maybe in the run from something, in the run, one go collect something, or you don't decrease. So no way if you run your race, we'll be say other people not go day. Now make we call a race. Uh, but maybe for the world, we'll be say we day to day. We'll say everybody won't post their achievement. Uh, everybody won't also, you know, survive this hard economic time. How you feel do um, uh, without today under pressure or under any form of tension. Thank you. Can I speak English? Oh, go ahead, please. Okay, thank you. So first of all, we need to put our mental health in check okay. because before any other thing, your mental health comes first. People usually underrate this, whereas your mental health comes first. Once it is healthy, then you can make healthy choices in life. So first of all, you need to make realistic goals, goals that would not put pressure, too much pressure on you. There's hardly anything that doesn't, you know, put pressure on people, but things that would not overwhelm you. Like if you want to set a realistic goal of, um, I want to save up to a million naira this year. Can you do it? Are you earning as much? Not, I want to save 10 billion this year. What are your sources? What are your resources? What do you have at time? So you don't want to, you don't want to set out goals that are too overwhelming on you, so you set realistic goals, then you also need to take time to relax, take a break. The world can wait, but your life is very important. So while everything, the race <laughs> is becoming overwhelming, you need to take a break. That is when you re-strategize. Probably you, you, know, you get in contact with your friends and family, people that love you genuinely, people you can talk about. And you also need to talk about your problems. It is not a sign of weakness. It is actually a sign of strength for you acknowledging the fact that, oh, there's a problem, I need help. And you, sh you should also not be able to, you should not be scared of asking for help. Because just like you said the other time, if you ask questions, you will not miss road. So someone can readily be available to help you at that point. So it is also okay to always ask for help. Very honestly, say, is it a sweet for your mouth as you did talk? But we know say our reality of today. Uh, then they talk before say a problem shared is a problem half solved. Yes. Uh, but people now they talk say a problem shared na lesson on top social media. Uh, person you carry your matter go put for there. We not say again because of the competition where they on ground. Yes. Uh, get person say you go open up to as a waiting you won't do and waiting they worry you then go keep the idea to themselves. They no go won't help you on top of that matter. I don't realize they get people when we say then they very comfortable to be the givers. Mm -hmm. You understand? Then they come to your friendship only exists because say, their hand there on top and you always day below. So any idea to bring you come their level, when they know say you said they admire their reach, then go the everly, they stifle all those kinds. How we feel manage it tough. Okay. That is very that is very true. So I'm sure over time we all have friends that we know the ones we speak to, we know the ones we can trust. Family, there are some people that you just meet once and they just make your day and you start to wonder where have they been. So you don't tell everybody you don't trust your problems. You tell people you can trust that even when they cannot provide solution, it may just be that all you need at that moment is somebody to listen. Okay. So when they listen, you feel the burden lift you. So that is one thing and another thing is to let go of the past. I know it is a very difficult thing to do, very, very difficult to, uh, thing to do, and there are practical measures you can take, such as writing down the negative things 
or the things that are still haunting you, things you're traumatized about? Could it be friendship that make you feel stressed or anything? You write them down, then you burn them and make a decision that this year, this time, I'm moving forward. And you write how things, maybe goals, or things you look forward to in the coming year. Like, oh, I'd like to maybe take a weekend to so 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 place. I'd like to check out this nice restaurant. I'd like to work on this project. I'd like to be a part of a community project. Things that would make you happy. It doesn't have to be for a long period of time, maybe a short while, so that it can boost your self-esteem and also relieve you of stress. And one thing again is give yourself. When I say give yourself, I mean help somebody. In trying to help other people, you can also boost your self-esteem and you feel fulfilled that, oh, I've helped this person. And you just might get the answer. Remember, I take you back for. to what you talk at the beginning. You know, very important matter you talk us. That's the way you talk. Listen at the foundation where all these things go build on top. You say your mental health must be standard, at least. May explain this mental health matter. People will say, I mean, not a Chris now. So, what is she they talk? Exactly. Uh, what that is mean? the misconception people mm. often have that, well, well, you're mentally healthy. If you're not mentally healthy, then you have mm. a psychiatric problem. No, you're not mentally derailed. Okay. Mental health, nobody is 100% mentally healthy. We all have one thing troubling us at certain times. And how you cope with these issues is what would determine how mentally healthy you are. It means stability. Yes. So you have some, you'd see some people and you think, oh, they don't have issues. They have it all figured out. It's a lie. It's just their coping mechanism. So it doesn't affect their daily work. They probably find time to relieve themselves of, of stress. They probably have people they talk to. It's just coping mechanism. So some people don't have such coping mechanism or they don't know how to, or maybe they don't have people around to help them which is why they are not completely mentally healthy. They are not stable. So a very important matter where you yes. talk. I like what you talk about issue of, even this issue of, say, the negative things where we say, you know, see they worry you, write them down, burn them. You also talk to disengage from friends where we say they put some kind of burden upon yes. um, you. Not very, you know, because they you know, say, um, again, people say what they say on social media, they're very deceptive. Yes. We will see people, they see their success. We don't know the matter when they're on ground. If they tell they give you the blueprints as they take achieve them, uh, trust me, enough you follow. Some are just by the grace of God. Some are luck. Uh, you know, as you get people who say, don't they do the work of say, don't they do. You get more experience than them, but they meet opportunity. Or rather, they thing just fall on top of their lap. They're not sweat for them. And the thing just catapults them. They go, you go, come ask yourself, say, where may I come day? And that person star with that. Thank you very much for what you don't talk because I just want this opportunity to thank um, one English journalist where I've been no. I've been open up. This is not a day easy to admit when person lifestyle detention you. Yes. I be open up to him about a colleague of mine at that time. I, I say, you know, I just sit down, I begin waiting. They say, I've been teaching this person. See where this person don't go and all that. And someone they see this person achievements. I don't go like give you that year, it may they put me under serious pressure. They ask myself, so what's when I carry my own life? They do. You know what the guy tell me? Now white person, he just say, block him for social media. Ah, ah. I said this one day extreme. He said, just block him so that you're not gonna see those pictures. Where they exactly. tension you all the time because you, you feel hold your own. So, you know, for that kind of matter, how you want to relate that kind of thing to people? You feel say it's very extreme, you know, for a person to take that kind of measure because this thing of to say to end that tensioning, which kind of measures will fit a good person will look at like saying, we just they hate on the other person. So, like I said, your mental health comes first before anybody, before any other thing. So, any means you want to any do to ensure means, say you're healthy, yes. just do it. So, Exactly. For some people, it might, it might actually mean changing their SIM cards mm. so mm. that maybe their close relatives and colleagues can only have that number. So whatever it takes, as long as it doesn't mean, you know, hurting other, other people, people or harming any, anybody. Body. So yes, right. any, anything. Because we all have different coping mechanisms. So if that is what works for you, do it. And if confronting people also works for you, do it. So it gives you some sort of freedom. As long as a peace of mind day. Yes. And you just run your own race. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Whether you're day number one, I be day number 60. The same be saying, you see the move. Now the cocoa exactly. of the matter be that. Thank you so much. Mary um, Obakore, thank you. She be guidance and counseling expert. And from when I don't hear, she don't take talk. Uh, she not distress the matter. She not collect them from scriptures. She they give them to you as every human being if you deal with the matter. <laughs>